I'm Jimmy Demetro, president of the Hellenic Film Society. And with me is my colleague, fellow board member, Costantina Conugres. And together we have the pleasure of welcoming Andreas Costandino, uh, a most prominent uh, Greek actor, uh, uh, works in the theater, uh, on the film and in television. And uh, we're very, very happy uh, to welcome you, Andrea. Uh, Andreas is joining us from Crete, where he is currently shooting uh, a television series for uh, Ert, I believe. Yes. Welcome, Andrea. Thank you. Uh, tell us about this new project. What exactly, uh, uh, what are you doing? I know that you're, you are tangentially involved uh, with Agrias Melises, which is uh, mm -hmm. at least l all of last season uh, was the, the Greek uh, uh, television program to watch. Uh, it caused quite a stir here in the Greek community you know, throughout the United States. And uh, true to your, to your uh, charm and your talent, uh, although they killed you off in the very first episode, they realized they realized the mistake and they brought you back uh, in subsequent <laughs> in subsequent uh, programs. It only in a way that only uh, 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 good television series can can do. Tell us about this uh, this new one. What what okay. is that? Thank you, James. Thank you, Costandina. The pleasure is all mine to be with you right now. Um, Yes, as you said, uh, I'm in Crete right now, and we are we're shooting a, a TV series for Earth for the national television. Uh, it's uh, the, the case is nowhere near the Agrius Melises one. Uh, it's a, it's the story. I'll I'll I'll, I'll say uh, a, like a synopsis, like a small yeah. description of, of what is going on here. Uh, it's a story about uh, an archaeologist who is half Cretan and half uh, British. And he's here for uh, how is Anascafi excavation? Uh, an excavation, you... exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So a dig, a dig, as we would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he's waiting for his fiance to arrive, and she never comes. She she drops him, and he decides to instead of going back to London, uh, he decides to actually stay here and. Uh, discover himself or his roots his his uh, his heritage once again and uh, throughout his journey he meets people and uh, follows their story in a way so it's going to be 12 episodes each each episode is a it's a new it's it's how is the, i don't know this this word in english is aftoteles that means yeah, that it, it's it's self-contained. Every episode yeah, has exactly, a big exactly, and there are twelve episodes, and I'm this guy. I'm the archaeologist. So my character remains from the very first episode till the last one, and all the protagonists are changing. In in, in each I episode, see. we have uh, new people. Uh -huh. Well, it sounds very good. And and the the title of this, the working title, or is uh... Uh, I think it's it's a working title. I think they're going to stick to the, with this because it's also it's based. I yes, I forgot to say something very essential. It it is based on the on the novel written by Victoria Hislop. Mm. I see. Uh, which maybe the people people from the from US that uh, are Greeks and the, they are they're following. Uh, uh, um, somehow what is going on in the Greek television, they might know Tony C, which was a major success in Greece. Yes. And it is also based in a, in a novel written by Victoria Hislop. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be carte postale. Carte postale. And yeah. I imagine this is for next season, next television season. Exactly, uh, October. I think we, we, we premiered the... the the first episode October, somewhere like me. Well, October. sounds sounds yeah. wonderful. I'm sure it's going to find its way to the United States and all over the world. So your yeah, sure. uh, people who follow your career uh, will be able to enjoy it. Uh, uh, Andreas, uh, you are uh, uh, the most uh, the most prominent, I would say, actor on the uh, Greek scene today, uh, and uh, your name, at least as far as I'm concerned, has become synonymous with a certain high quality 
uh, a product. Uh, uh, I know you basically from your film work and uh, each and every one of your films has been uh, outstanding, uh, something very special about each one. They're ambitious products uh, mm -hmm. usually and um, uh, always, always worth seeing. You're a very, very compelling uh, screen presence. Thank you so much. And, <laughs> well, you, so uh, you know, I, I think anyone who knows your work will uh, attest uh, to what I'm saying, will agree to what I'm saying. Um, uh, uh, tell us, because uh, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. You I was gonna ask, well, to jump off of what Jimmy was saying, you've had such a fantastic career in Greece as an actor. And I'm just curious because you were born in Germany. So how did your acting career evolve and how did you end up finding yourself performing in Greece and, and becoming a huge actor in Greece? Uh, this is a very, very simple and easy way to answer because I was just <laughs> born there and I, I only spent a few months living in Germany. My, my parents used to, uh, to uh, work and live and study there when I was born and uh, in, in a, uh, in a, after eight or nine months, I think we got back in Greece, and so I hardly remember anything from my. Uh, you know, I was I was actually an infant when when I was in Germany, but I, I've traveled in Germany a lot of times, and I still have bonds with people there. My my sister lives in a, in Germany the na the last six years now, so yeah, I I also speak some German, I've done uh, two movies in German. And uh, yeah, but uh, ever since I can remember myself, I, I remember being in Greece. I grew up in Thessaloniki. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I studied in Creta, right? Oh, so cool. I am right now. I, I'm a social worker, so I studied five years in Creta before I joined the National Drama School of Greece. And uh, yeah, the last... 14 years, I'm in Athens, I guess. I, I go, I travel a lot, but uh, the, my base is in Athens. Andreas, you've had, uh, you're having a, 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 quite a career in Greece. Uh, you've done so much different work, as I said, film, television, theater. Do you prefer any one of those three media? Um, is there uh, uh, any, any medium that, uh, of those three that you prefer working in or? I'm, I'm very new. I'm just a newbie, newbie. How you say this? How you say this thing? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a newbie, I'm a rookie in, uh, in TV. Uh, uh, that's actually this is my first. Like, yeah, I've done Agris Melises as you mentioned before, but that was for. I was a, a, a tiny. I had a tiny taste of uh, how how TV works. Uh, but I have to say, this one, the one that we're shooting right now. Uh, Feels a, feels a very much like cinema. We're shooting with one camera. We are uh, spending seven to ten days uh, for one episode. So the time and the, the whole procedure is really similar with the cinema. But to answer to your question, I think I think the the most important thing is uh, with who are you working with, and what is the subject, and what are the the, um, the conditions uh, under of that you're working under, and it can be theater, it can be an amazing thing, it can be cinema, it can be an amazing thing, it can be theater, it can be a thing that you know it it has to do with the people that are in are involved in its yeah. procedure, how they put themselves into its project, and. So I could I could not really change. Uh, uh, sorry, choose one. The other day I, I was reading everything. I was reading the other day an interview you gave where you said you are inspired by creative people, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, that of course brings to my mind Pandelis Vulgaris, who mm -hmm. is uh, I would say Greece's master filmmaker uh, at this point, and uh, you've done two films with him. Uh, the Last Note, the, the Lefteo Simioma, mm -hmm. and uh, Little England, Mikranglia. And Little England, of course, is, is being featured uh, this month uh, uh, by the uh, Hellenic Film Society USA. Uh, tell us about uh, working with uh, Vulgaris. I, I imagine that's got to be a very special, uh, a very special kind of experience. Um, 
Little England in particular, when one sees that and sees the incredible production values in the film, the detail, uh, the care with which that film is made, uh, that's got to be, uh, I would think, a very, very special experience for an actor. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I, I will tell you everything I, ca I can remember because that's like eight years ago. But it was truly a fantastic experience. You know, uh, yeah, Pandelis is, 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 a, is a man that holds so much concentrated knowledge and he's very generous in, uh, in uh, sharing it with everybody. In his own, in his own uh, special way, he would always uh, tell you a story to inspire you instead of telling you what to do. Uh, mm. He would, he would, yeah, he would uh, use a story to open a new horizon to your to your imagination mm -hmm. or to your fantasy or to your uh, to the world that you are creating at that moment, and this is a very unique thing. It's the, he's the only director that has done uh, he has an approach like this, and it was very very inspiring because it was also at the same time very deliberating for us. It was it was like telling you go there and play in a, in a very creative way, and although. We were very young and uh, very young. I was, I was, how, how, yeah, I was 29, 29 to 30 at that time. Sophia and Penelope, the two main characters, the young ones in, uh, in uh, Little England were, I think, 24, 23, 24. Wow. And it was, it was, it was literally like living in a movie, shooting the film, you know? <laughs> We were in this in this island of Andros, a very beautiful, very beautiful island with lots of different landscapes, and every day it was like an adventure, because we, yeah, and the story, of course, I, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure you you already know that, you know. Oh, very, very much so, story. very much so. The film it's is a very, very special. strong story. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I... we were at. At the same time, while, while we were shooting it, because we knew the story, we were fascinated by each chapter and each scene. And it was, uh, yeah, it was one of the most memorable and uh, moments of, of my film life and, and my life generally. And, and for a good reason. I mean, I liked, I liked the result very much artistically. I yeah. came very close to people that I admire and I respect so much. And I still am really good friends with Sofia. We have, a, we are in the same theatrical team called Kursk. We, we work together. She's going That's to do a Sofia Kokali, That's the actress. Kokali, who exactly. In, in the film. Uh, I, I have to tell you, Andrea, uh, you probably don't know this. Uh, we premiered uh, the film in the United States in New York City at the Ziegfeld Theater, which is no longer, unfortunately, uh, an 1100 seat cinema. And uh, it was packed, sold out. Uh, and after the screening, uh, uh, it was on Vulgaris's birthday. Uh, and after the screening, he came up to me, he was, he was tearful. And he said to me, I've never seen my film projected so beautifully as I did tonight. <laughs> he was he was so touched by that. Uh, and I'm so happy that we gave him that that experience uh, because the, the audience just embraced him and the film and the Oana Kajistiani was with him, of course. Yes. Mr. An He's amazing been... woman, amazing. Oh, absolutely. Woman. I agree with you. Five minutes with her, uh, is speaking with her, and you realize that she's, uh, uh, you know, what she's all about. It's an incredible, it, they're, they're an incredibly creative and exciting couple. And um, and that was my first introduction to, to uh, your work. And I've been following your career uh, ever since then. And uh, clearly I'm, uh, I'm an enormous fan as I know Cosandina is as well. Uh -huh. Thank you. I, I, maybe it's, oh. it's also interesting to mention this one. Uh, when the, when the Little England was firstly screened in, uh, in, uh, pre premiered uh, in, uh, in Greece, it was the, uh, the um, how you say, it was the official... It was the official opening, the premiere of the film. 
Ναι, αλλά ήθελα να πω It was Ήταν Every every country sends a movie For the Oscars rally Yes Was this year's Πρόταση It was the contender For the Oscar Exactly And we had We I was chosen to do some uh, to to να παρευρεθώ. Oh my god. To sorry. be to be there to attend. Be there to attend exactly. Uh, some screenings in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. So I did. I was with Pandelis in LA and I I went in two three uh, screenings and you know we had some Q&A with the audience and people would ask me how much how much Did it cost to make oh. this? Film? Oh. And when I answered, they couldn't believe it. Yeah, exactly. they really could not believe it, because it it cost it costed something like uh, less than two million euros. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable. Well, you know that's a tribute to to the Greek uh, uh, technicians, to the actors, to the people behind the cameras, in front of the cameras. Right. These are world class professionals, and and. Although they work on such tight budgets, the films look wonderful. There's, there's, a, you know, the, the average Greek film is probably equal to what the catering bill is on a Hollywood production for yeah, a, for yeah. a week. It's it's in, absolutely incredible, and it really is a tribute uh, to the to the artists involved that they can, they can get that kind of quality that 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 look uh, uh, for such little uh, uh, for relatively small. Uh, financial uh, investment. Um, yeah, that, that's a, that's a tribute to you and uh, and uh, to all those who, who work uh, in the industry. Um, I think Costandina uh, uh, wanted to to uh, ask you about uh, the character we were talking. She and I were talking about your the character you play, uh, Spiros Maltabas, uh, Maltabes, 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 Maltabes. Yeah, the film. That, uh, <laughs> And uh, she brought up an interesting point that we'd like to 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 hear your opinion about. Well, I'm going to cut to the chase, and this one's a little bit of a spoiler alert. But I mean, I just have to wonder if you were Spiros Mantabes in real life, what would you do? Because part of me feels like the responsibility <laughs> was a little bit on him, you know, to pursue the the second sister and to, to live with that. So I just wonder, and it's a hard question to ask, but do you have an opinion on what you would do in situation? Yeah, Spiros, of course, is the main character who yeah. is loved by two sisters Her and back. he marries one. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's uh, maybe I can I can give an answer to this one, but I'm not, you know, it's, it's gonna be a theoretical one because you know, right. it's, you never know. In this in this kind of uh, situations, you never know how you're gonna react. I find it. I find his reaction to be really extreme, and I, I also was wondering my, to myself, and I was saying like, how how can he, how could he do this? You know, living in the same in the same house and knowing that you know everything was still there in in a way, and. I I really cannot answer. I, I would I would easily say no. I I, I maybe I, yeah. I, I'm I would never be able to do something like this. But who knows? Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, he's madly, deeply in love with the uh, with the uh, Orsa, and he was so so hurt by her choice, and he actually never find out the truth what happened. Mm-hmm. And she marries someone else. <laughs> yeah, the, the spoiler will continue if I continue. <laughs> well, I, we, we we assume people have seen the film uh, when they, when they see they watch this interview. Uh, yeah, it, it's 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 a wonderful story. Uh, it, it just melodrama of the highest the highest sort, the highest quality. While Ioana, who wrote uh, uh, Pantelis's wife, mm-hmm. and uh, also the, the author, the, the script, uh, how do you say? Script writer. Yes, yeah, script writer. Script writer. Script writer. Uh, uh, it's very interesting because she was, she was influenced and inspired by true stories. And we, somehow we, we saw people on the island 
And for example, Ioana would say, oh, th this one is him or the other one is her. Just saying, you know? just and we were like, you know, so she, she, she was, she, she, uh, was in a vast, vast, vast. She, she, based, she based her fictional yeah. characters on people's characters. Shoes. On, on actual, char in, on actual <laughs> characters that we can see in, in our everyday life and say, good morning. It's, it's time with, with it's a day with, with these people. And that was kind of crazy and very wow. interesting at the same time. But yeah, of course, the, the, of course, the, the story is fictional, but uh, she was really inspired by some true stories. Yeah. And, you know, also the, the first draft that Pandelis did, the first cut, was four hours and th 35 minutes, I think. Oh, good. Four hours. Wow. And I remember Pandelis saying, I want to keep it like this, you know? <laughs> Oh but God. you know, everybody was there and telling, telling, making him. those cuts hurts a lot. I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, of course. If you're the creator, it's very, yeah. very, very difficult to let go. Absolutely. Uh, I was going to say, I, I was able to see your your uh, your new film. It's not released yet. Uh, a film that now goes under the title of Dog, uh, and it's by uh, Yana Americano, uh, and. Uh, in that film, you play a, a very different character than I've seen you do in other films. You are a, a, a quite a villainous, despicable individual. You are a you play the role of a father uh, who uh, is released from prison and is intent upon uh, exploiting his own son uh, mm -hmm. for his own purposes. Um, do you what do you enjoy? Was that a change of heart for you? Do you enjoy playing villains? What was that experience like for you? Yes, because yeah, I, 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 uh, you know, to be honest, I enjoy playing different things, and you know, each time I, I see a challenge in in every role. So, uh, when I first read the script of Yana, I said, yeah, I can do this. I mean, I can see myself in this. It's very extreme because he he uses his son to to traf, to to how you say to na metaferis to transport drugs and everything. Yeah, yeah, he, he exploits his son in, in in a variety of ways, actually. Uh, uh -huh. But you know, it was it's it's always a challenge because I always I always try to find a part a part that it is is mine to the to the characters, and I I try to bring the characters somewhere close to me and you know we all have good and bad sides um i again if i have to to answer a question like that i would say ne i would never never uh you know do something like this in my personal life but then again you have to push yourself towards this direction exactly. in order to understand and not to play the villain in, in for example playing in this role in this movie uh, f i i I try to justify everything that he does and to be okay with this thing. Maybe he he feels guilty and everything, but that's how he knows. That's how he understands love or um, caring. He, he's, a, he's, a, he's a guy that spent you know, his last 15 years in jail. So, you know... Uh, but I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing this this film because I haven't seen it yet. And well, it's, I, it's 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 pretty strong. It's it's a it's a strong film. Very, it's a good in film. Three years but, now. Three years. Yeah, and 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 watching you in that role, at least for me, was very surprising. Uh, it it was the last thing I expected. Uh, I came to it not knowing anything about it, and uh, uh, I I was quite impressed with it. I think you're terrific in it. It's a it's a very interesting film. Very Thank you. very well done. Uh, Andrea, I, I think that uh, uh, I, I just want to thank you uh, for giving us uh, this time. Uh, uh, I know this is a very busy period for you, and uh, you were kind enough to uh, give us some time and uh, uh, let our audience uh, uh, see you and uh, uh, learn things about you that perhaps they didn't know. Um, I, I just want to thank you. and. Uh, uh, we're always, always anxious uh, to see your next work, and uh, and uh, you've given us so many quality films up to now, and and I'm sure there's uh, 
There are many, many more to come. And I have never seen you in the theater. I've got to be in Greece at a time when you are. Yes. I know you've also yes. done, maybe, maybe before we leave, uh, tell me a little bit about your interest in Greek tragedy, because I know that's been uh, a very important part of your theatrical uh, work. Uh, you want to talk about your, uh, your yes, project? Yes. Uh, first, I have to say that, uh, James, thank you so much for these amazing words. Um, I feel very... Oh, I, I, uh, they're heartfelt <laughs> and uh, totally honest. And, you know, the pleasure was all mine because... Uh, Maybe, yeah, I am busy because we're shooting every day, but, uh, you know, we're, we're living in these hard conditions. We are in this uh, lockdown period, yeah. which is very hard here every in Greece. Day. Yeah, for me also, it was a small break. I can imagine you guys being there, me being here. <laughs> it was a good interaction. And I will tell you about theater. Theater is, uh, you know, it suffers it suffers right now so much from the COVID uh, consequences. Uh, theaters are closed, I think, worldwide. And, uh, you know, people that are, are actually trying to find answers in their lives, in their ex this existential things that are troubling them, or people that want to do theater, want to play, want to direct, want to enjoy and to to feed their souls with this are you know are uh, silent silent and uh, mm. my wish is to it has to we have to find to find a a, a way for uh, you know making this terrific art work again and well you know theater is in the blood of the of the greeks and and it, theater will survive. <laughs> it will survive yeah, the will yeah. come back strong. Uh, there's a, I always find that the Greek audience has a unique connection to theater and uh, that's never, that's not going to change. That will, that will find its way again. That will find its way. Uh, yes. And, you know, maybe I, I, um, I suppose you, you have, you have seen some, uh, some uh, shows in the, in the Pidabros. Oh. Uh, oh yes. Very, very much. Of course. Of course. So you uh, know what it feels like to be an audience, or I've, I've even it's, it's almost, almost played once. Uh, that was uh, some nine years ago, and you know it's something something magical is going on, uh, watching or playing in a performance there. And this is the power, I guess, of the tradition of Greek theater. This is the power of tragedies of the ancient Greek tragedies. I so much wish that we can enjoy, we will enjoy this again soon. Safe. There's, no, there's no question about that. No question. Again, Andremo, I think that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, and uh, please continue to, to do the wonderful work you're doing. And uh, uh, we hope to meet you here in New York or in, uh, in one of our festivals. Uh, hopefully you'll, you'll be able to join us. Uh, you and I have met, of course, uh, in person. I usually see you in Thessaloniki every year. Yeah, uh, but uh, uh, anyway, it's always a pleasure to be with you. And uh, I thank you very, very much. And Kostandina, thanks so much for joining us today as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Be well. Okay. Thanks again. Thank you. See you again. Nasekala. <laughs>